this video, we're going to take you through the live traffic view settings of WordFence Security. You can see I've got them open on my screen now, and there's only a few settings that we want to go through here. And the first is don't log signed in users with publishing access. So basically what that means is anyone who has the ability to publish a post on your website, so administrators, editors, and generally authors, depending on your setup, uh, when they're logged in, their actual usage of the site won't be logged. Of course, this is enabled by default. If you prefer for those people to be logged, you can just simply uncheck that box. If you wanted to be a bit more particular and a little bit more granular, we've got a couple more settings here we can use. Uh, comma separated values for usernames. So maybe, uh, maybe I don't want my account to be tracked, which it wouldn't be anyway, because uh, it has publishing access. Well, that's assuming this one was turned on. Um, and then you might have some other accounts there that you don't want to track for whatever reason. So you can just enter those there, separated by commas, and the plugin will manage that accordingly. The same then applies for being able to ignore certain IP addresses. So maybe 1.1.1.1 is an IP that you don't want to track. It's someone you know or that you have a reason for not tracking that IP. Just the same as the usernames, you can enter uh, as many IPs as you like, uh, as long as they're appropriate IP addresses, of course. Uh, and the plugin will then not track those as part of the live traffic view. Finally, you can choose to ignore certain user agents and you'll need to check your logs to see what user agents uh, you might want to not be tracking unless you already actually know what they are. Uh, maybe you don't want to track uh, Mozilla browsers, for instance, you can just enter that there. That's really all there is uh, when it comes to configuring the live traffic view. It works pretty much no problem out of the box, but if there were particulars that you didn't actually want to include, uh, this is the place you do it. Super easy to do. And of course, when you've done making any changes, hit save changes. Uh, if you have any questions about what we've done, please feel free to ask in the comments below.